Now, let me tell you a story. Tonya was boiling hot in anger <laughs> because of the ineffective remarks passed on by her best friend. <laughs> Almost immediately, her class teacher came in and ordered her friend to issue an apology. So, what happened next? The anger in her dissipated as they both exchanged warm hugs. <laughs> wow. The apology neutralized the anger within her and produced a restored friendship. <laughs> now, there's a particular concept in chemistry that neutralizes the raging effect of an acid to produce salt and water. It is called a base. <laughs> Intriguing, isn't it? Now, examples of base include metallic oxides like sodium oxide, Na2O, potassium oxide, K2O, and hydroxides like sodium hydroxide, like NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH. So, what have we learned? We have learned that a base is a substance which will neutralize an acid to yield salt and water only. Now, examples include most oxide and hydroxide of metals which are bases. For example, Na2O, sodium oxide, K2O, potassium oxide, MgO, magnesium oxide, NaOH, sodium hydroxide, KOH, potassium hydroxide. An example of an oxide that is not a base is lead 4 oxide. It reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce lead 2 chloride, a salt, water, and chlorine gas. Let's look at this equation. PbO2 solid, that is lead oxide in solid form, combines with hydrochloric acid in aqueous form. Now, what do we have? We have PbCl2, that is lead chloride in aqueous form, and water in liquid form, and also chlorine gas, that is Cl2, and the water is 2H2O. Interesting, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that class. I want to see you in the next class. Bye for now.